Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt. Um, I am the founder and leader of Chart Bulls Trading. Um, we are a group of like-minded investors and day traders who trade stocks, crypto, and forex, and we come together to talk about technical analysis and learn from one another. If you're interested in joining that, it's free. Uh, it's the first link in the description called Discord, um, and it's just a chat room to uh, talk with everybody. Um, I look forward to talking with you there. I also um, want to go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and like it. Um, there's more content coming out every day. So what this video is going to be about is kind of for those traders. Um, I have a lot of crypto people who follow me, and it's for those traders who trade crypto, and they're kind of wanting to get into the stock world. How do you do that? What does it look like? Um, is it possible? So that's what we're going to be covering um, in this video. So first off, I started out with stocks and moved to crypto. Um, so I have always been trading stocks back and forth. Um, and for me, some platforms that I use, uh, first off, I use TradingView, which I use for crypto as well. Um, I just have different watch lists that I use for each one. The technical analysis side for stocks is the exact same as crypto. Um, there are some weird delays from market open to uh, from market close to market open, um, so there'll be some weird gap ups and gap downs that you don't see in crypto because crypto is twenty four seven. But um, apart from that, the technical analysis is the same. That makes it really easy for us to be trading it um, and to kind of get into that world. As far as other tools that I use, um, crypto uses different exchanges while stocks use different. Uh, brokers basically. So I use Robinhood app, which is commission-free trading. Um, a lot of different uh, ones of these companies will um, basically make you pay to in order to execute and uh, execute a buy and execute a sell for a trade. So Robinhood does that for free. Um, it's a great resource. They also have options trading on there if you are interested in that. Um, if you're wanting a little bit more of an in-depth computer platform as opposed to just like uh, just kind of like the basics that Robinhood gives you. Um, I recommend TD Ameritrade or Thinkorswim. Uh, it's the same company. What that allows is just basically a little bit more expert level um, technical analysis on their platform, um, as well as options. It allows you to short stocks. So kind of like we what we do in crypto, when we short, um, we short sell something. You can do that exact same premise with stocks. Now, uh, one big difference between stocks and crypto, and this is part of the reason why I like crypto so much, is that Stocks require something called a pattern day trader uh, portfolio size. So in order to not be labeled a pattern day trader, in order to not be kind of a risk to the company, you have to have $25,000 in your account in order to be an active day trader. If you don't have that $25,000, you can only day trade three times, so three successful day trades, uh, a buy and a sell, within a five trading day period. So you can use all three of those day trades in one day, or you can kind of space them out over the five-day period. So for me personally, my account size is not $25,000, so I have to um, do mostly swing trades and then kind of space out my day trades so that I don't get flagged as a pattern day trader. And if you do get flagged, you have to take three months off. So 90-day trading period um, kind of slap on the wrist, right? So you can't day trade for 90 days. If you buy into a position, you're stuck in it till the next day. That's a big issue um, for a lot of day traders like myself, um, which is why I like crypto, because I can trade crypto all day, every day, as many times as I want with whatever size account that I want. Um, so that is definitely a perk over crypto, over stocks. But stocks do offer some very positive um, and kind of steady gains. Um, they also have dividends and all that stuff, which is great, and it's a safe and secure industry. We do see some volatile stuff. So right now I have Micron pulled up. Um, two days ago in the Discord chat, we have a stock room, and I posted uh, that the price was right here. And for me, that was a sell or a buy sign. Um, it opened down here, so I was like, buy it, right? Buy it all the way up, and it was a four percent gain. Um, and then this yesterday morning, or this morning, I mean, uh, we opened right around here, and I was like, short it. And so I actually shorted all the way down. Uh, I didn't even like have anything set, but it was a 5% gain on the short down. So there is a lot of volatile um, stocks still, and even with big stocks like Micron, um, you just have to know how to trade them. But again, it's the same premise as uh, trading crypto. So 
I hope this video really helped you kind of um, understand that it's not totally different. Uh, the big differences are again the pattern day trading rule for having $25,000 in your account at all times in order to day trade all the time. And two, that there are a lot of different types of brokers. Some make you pay in order to buy and sell and some are free like Robinhood. And um, if you're going to be going into the stock world, uh, really practice on your swing trading abilities and watch some videos on that and all of that stuff. Um, if you are a stock trader already or you're moving from crypto to stock, please join me in the Discord in the stock channel. It's a second, uh, second big channel. And I'd love to chat it up with you in there. So please subscribe to, this, uh, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment letting me know um, what platform you use to day trade stocks um, and how you like it. Peace.